So, like to uh, say your name for the ladies and gentlemen at home? Laura Larkin. Oh, Laura Larkin. Larkin. Oh, Larkin. I was going, I thought you said Lakin, and I said, <laughs> I think it's fairly obvious, but you're a Lakin. <laughs> So, uh, Laura, you're uh, you're expecting a baby, then? Yes. Uh, when 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 uh, when when do you think? Uh, the twenty fourth. Yeah, I, I think you'd be lucky if we make the second commercial break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your first baby? Yes. Uh, are you excited? Very excited. Yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It is. I, I got I got two. I got I got two boys, and and I've uh, a little boy, uh, the youngest. He's eight and a half months. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You know when the last time I slept was? Uh, eight, eight and a half, half months, months ago. about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're laughing now. <laughs> so, uh, so that's nice. You, you got any idea of what, what, what you're going to be having? Or, or gonna have a boy. You're gonna have a boy. Congratulations, lovely. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, names? Any ideas for names? Uh, Michaelis. Michaelis. Yes. That sounds good. Sounds like a TV detective. <laughs> No, it does. It sounds great. I'm telling you that. But I'm very excited for you. So soon, soon. Very soon. Yeah. The the uh, your your husband. Uh, he's uh, he's uh, here. Yes, he's sitting right up there. Oh hey hey, what's up? Oh lad, yeah. <laughs> where where are you from? Hey, I'm from East Kilbride. East Kilbride, eh? Yeah. You know where that is, don't you? Yes, I've been there. Oh, you've been to East Kilbride? Yeah. And you still had sex with him? <laughs> huh? Man. <laughs> don't laugh too much. I'm serious. Don't. Uh, luckily, you're in the right studio for her. Yeah. But, uh, are you all right? Yeah. I'm all right, all right. Uh, so, uh, East Kilbride, if you don't know, is a, is a suburb <laughs> of uh, Glasgow. It's, it's just outside Glasgow in Scotland. Uh, and um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice town, isn't it? <laughs> it's a horrible town. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, did you like East Kilbride when you were there? I found it was very enchanting. Enchanting? Yes. <laughs> With the little houses. And the li what, what, are we talking about the same East Kilbride? <laughs> it was fun. Where are you from originally? Orange County. Yeah, well, it's enchanting if you're from Orange County. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you are then. So you're going to have a little Scottish American. Yes, I am. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, that's good. <laughs> no, it's good. It's very exciting. We have to take a commercial break, which is a shame. I'm very much enjoying the idea of talking to you. But we've got a show, you know, celebrities and stuff. I know, I know. I know how it goes. Robot, you know. Love you. Love Jeff. You, you like Jeff, do you? I do. You can have him. Oh, really? Ah. <laughs> that's it. You're out of here, pal. <laughs> Jeff, Thank come goodness. <laughs> We gotta take a break. She started to laugh too much. We'll be right back. Right. It's on stay up. It's been a long, long day. And you've got the Sandman at the door. But hang on, leave the TV on. And let's do it anyway. It's okay. You can always sleep through work tomorrow. Okay. Hey, hey. Tomorrow's just your future. Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Applebee's. Come try Applebee's 2 for 20. It's back and fresher than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Stop. You don't just go blast it in with everything you got right away. Come on, slow down, work a little bit. You know, kiss the mouth first, work, work the boobies. Don't just go straight at it. I 
I'm not a piece of meat, you know. <laughs> no. Or maybe I am. <laughs> That's my new thing, by the way. That's what I'm going. Or maybe I am. <laughs> I'm like some kind of fancy Western era prostitute. <laughs> Or maybe I am. <laughs> Welcome to Dodge City. <laughs> uh, oh, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> I say this, but it's actually it's actually a sad day here at CBS. I don't know if you've heard that, that Andy Rooney is uh, stepping down from 60 Minutes. He's announced he's retiring today. CBS just announced it. Uh, they're going to be replacing him with Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> You applaud that, it's going to be a very long night. <laughs> but whoever they get to replace Andy, uh, I love Andy, I'm going to miss Andy, but whoever they get, there's some big eyebrows to fill right there. You can't just, <laughs> you can't just replace Andy Rooney. What does it mean for the future of television? Will, will child-proof caps suddenly not be annoying anymore? No! <laughs> who's, who's going to hate new things? <laughs> Maybe I will. Also, it's a bit of a sad day for lesbians. I know Lesbian Road. No, no. You're, lesbian Road, prepare to be outraged. I was when I heard this. There was an actress from the L Word uh, was removed from a, a, a Southwest Airlines flight uh, because she kissed her girlfriend. What? That just shows you that lesbians, you're the, the only airline you're welcome on is the Irish airline, Aer Lingus. That's the only one. Also, happy birthday uh, to Wilford Brimley, the American icon who celebrates his birthday today. 77 years uh, young. Happy, happy birthday, Wilford. Also, uh, it's uh, Google's birthday today. Google is uh, 13 years old today. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Oh, so w nothing for Wilford Brimley, but wow for Google. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Oh, Google. Oh, yeah. Oh. Go Wilford Brimley. Wilford the cocoon, you bastard. Now, Wilford Brimley and Google are very different, of course. Uh, one is bent on world domination, is worth billions of dollars, and is my first stop when I, when I need pornography. <laughs> and the other one's Google. Uh, no. <laughs> now, although it's a great day for America, it's not a great day in Brazil. You know Brazil, uh, the South American country famous for the nuts and the waxing and the <laughs> waxing... And, <laughs> Yeah, they, and waxing nuts. Well, right now, right now in northeast Brazil, they might have to close down the beaches because they've been invaded by piranhas. <laughs> Your ooh went over my effect. If I had a nickel for every time I said that. Maybe I have. I said the beaches in northeastern Brazil have been overrun by piranhas. <laughs> I'll just show the damn headline. <laughs> look, piranhas, hey, look, they've been attacking beach goers in Brazil. You don't want to, well, show me that fish. You don't want to get in the water with that guy. <laughs> I feel the same about Larry King. <laughs> I never go in the hot tub with Larry King. Uh, <laughs> although he does make his own bubbles. <laughs> They smell like brisket. Anyway, over the weekend... <laughs> Don't! Over the weekend, a hundred people in Brazil were attacked by piranhas. To give you an idea, the piranhas are so aggressive. To give you an idea how aggressive these piranhas have become, the people that were attacked were in their hotel rooms. <laughs> Room service! Uh. Are you sure? Yeah, that's right, because the Queen of England is in northeastern Brazil. She's, she's on vacation. Let's do it, Jeff. Jeff, we'll reenact the scene where I'm in my hotel room and you're the deadly piranha. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah. All right, then. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's uh, room service. Come in. Ah! <laughs> 
Man, it, it's like, you, I'm telling you, you gotta stop trying to clap because you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Sit with the discomfort. If it's not funny, just write it out. <laughs> Hey, hey, do one where we're in a saloon and you're like a weird prostitute. Oh, all right. <laughs> Why? I like when you move your hips like that. All right. Maybe, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, let me tell you something about my hips. They do lie. <laughs> the hell are you staring at? <laughs> I'm talking about piranhas. If you don't know piranhas, they're aquatic creatures with lots of teeth and they attack you without warning. Do we have a picture of an aquatic cr uh, creature that, with a lot of teeth attack you without warning? Oh, for heaven's sake! <laughs> That's Julia Roberts. She's not a piranha, Julia Roberts. Although I wonder if anyone thought to question her. Where was she last weekend? Was it Brazil? <laughs> Greg, did you say Brazil? It's not as good as the effect we overused last night on the show, though, is it? Oh, we really killed it on that oh, one. Oh, man, we used it too much and it stopped being funny. Or did we? <laughs> well, Inspector, it looks like the murder suspect points to a piranha. You mean he was killed by fish? <laughs> it turns out it was Julia Roberts. <laughs> Oh, see, that one should have been a wee, 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 yeah. <laughs> You know, piranha fish are always popular in the Bond movies as well, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, because when the villain always says, please excuse the bubbliness of my jacuzzi, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Just my deadly piranhas. <laughs> Why don't you take a bath, Mr. Bond? <laughs> This is my invisible cat. <laughs> I did have a cat, but it was eaten by piranhas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I'm entertaining myself, and that's fine. <laughs> hey, you know what time it is, don't you? Oh, is it that time? Yeah, it's a uh, commercial time. All right, let's do You want to do, do the thing? Sure, why not? All right, so... I... What, okay. you, are you going to do it now? Yeah, I'm going to start right now. You're doing a Wilford Brimley I'm going to do tonight? my Wilford Brimley, that's right. Because it's his birthday? That's right, it's his birthday. <laughs> All right, you gonna, is there, are you going to say diabetes? I might. <laughs> well, hey, hey wait, wait, if you're going to do the Wilford thing, uh, put on the moustache, then. <laughs> how, how convenient that that was right there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, right. If you're going to be a jerk about it, I'll take it off. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. It's a skeleton, you idiot! That's much better. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, go. Hi there. I'm Wilford Brimley. I don't care much for this show, and quite frankly, the host looks a whole hell of a lot like Liza Minnelli. <laughs> but it's my birthday. I can't even eat my own damn cake, because I got diabetes. <laughs> Spectacular! Right, Jeff? That's right. It's my birthday. It's a tasty way to do it. Do you know I've got some news, actually? It's true. And I can confirm this is actually true, right? That I can... It's true. The night before Thanksgiving, Wilfred Blim... Blim... Blimley... It's the night before Thanksgiving, right? The show before Thanksgiving, Wilfred Brimley has agreed to appear on this show. Mustachio you are that night. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, my first guest tonight is an actress. That's a risk, I know, but I thought I'd try it. She stars in uh, How to Be a Gentleman, which is premiering this Thursday on CBS. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> what? Wait, can you say, can you say bitchiness on CBS in prime time? <laughs> I'm out of here, bitchiness. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Marilyn Rice Cub, everybody. Marilyn. Hey, 
Hey! Hey! Look at you! Hey, look at me! Wow, you're really sexed up. What's Go going on? I look don't at you. know. Something happened to me. Wow, you look great. Thanks. No, and your shoes, my I Lord, know. I'm, look at them. They're Sh they're out of control. They are. You're like some kind of giant sex robot. I don't know what happened. It's good. You, you, you feel all right? I feel sexy. Did CBS do this to you? <laughs> That was hilarious. But no, me. no, I know the idea of CBS going, can it be more sexy? No. They... CBS told me I needed to be hot as hell and a basket of bitchiness. Really? Yeah. Ah. They're making me show my boobs. I cry backstage. They're like, Give, get the shirt lower. No, no, no. no. You, 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 you're... No, 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 no. No, you've got. That, you, no, I'm that's... kidding, you guys. I'm you kidding. can't see your boobs through there. I, I've tried. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, what? No. A little bit. I did try a little. When you walked out, I went, whoa, look at her. I wonder if I can see her boobs through her dress. No, I can't. Okay. It just it quickly passes I, through a guy's mind, you know. I am embarrassed and delighted that we're talking about my appearance. I'm sorry. Well, you do look good. You know I, I mean? feel good. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Well, it's like I just became good. a woman. Recently. You just became a woman recently? I don't, it took me like many years. I used to be like you've got, you've got a baby. Grumpy and grumpy. No, and you were never frowny, grumpy, and grumpy. You had a little bit of a librarian kind of oh my clothes are tight. Where's the book thing going on? <laughs> the librarian. I've taken off my glasses. Yeah, yeah. I take off my glasses and suddenly my shirt goes like that. What? Yeah. Wh Washing the car, oh, bending over. There's a car in the Is library. Is that sexy? <laughs> Is that hot? What I'm doing? I, I don't know. To wash this car. Just dancing in clubs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dancing in clubs? No, no. Do you really. go to clubs? No. Why not? Not at all. Why not? You do very well in those shoes and clubs. Really? Yeah. All the players that want to know your name or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I... What so, I'm trying to say is I don't really go to clubs. No, but you got a three-year-old kid. I'm usually in Lady bed by 9 30. She's about to have her first baby. I saw that. That's yeah. exciting. And a Scottish baby, too. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't know what to do with that. Well, uh, you you just treat them like regular babies and hope for the best. Just pet them and love them. Pet them and love. Throw love at them and you know keep them away for. Don't feed them after midnight or whatever. <laughs> just peek in. Are peek you in. okay? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You never get that from your kid. Like you look in at night and they're like. <laughs> oh, your kids aren't Scottish though, are they? So right there. There's your problem. Yeah. yeah. Mine's what American. nationality are you? Well, you know, going back. And the, I the am rice uh, Irish, Polish, Czechoslovakian. Wow. You're yay. Yay? What's yay with that? <laughs> Irish, Polish, Czechoslovakian? She's the only one. How can you yay that? You can't yay. That's not like there's a group of we're the Irish, Polish, Czechoslovakian, to be the man to be her. Come on. <laughs> We have parades, and yeah, we, have, a, we have our what neighborhood. Parade? You and your shoes, and that's it. And then a bunch of guys following you to see your breasts. Hey. So, and your your husband? What is he? Is he an Irish, Polish, Czechoslovakian? He too? is from the same community. German. German. You don't it, need to. Uh, I can't remember anything else. English. German and English. That's yeah. a nice mix, right? We've only there. been married two years. Next year, he's going to tell me his other nationalities. Oh, you get one nationality. Yeah, year. that's right. We try to like ration out the information. Nice. <laughs> so keeps keep it, it sexy. Keeps keep it, it alive. Sexy. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> and that's kind of creepy. Happening. Isn't it? I don't know why. I keeps keeps it sexy. Keeps it alive. That's my I'm new most, thing. Um, that and this. I saw that earlier. Yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. Did you ever do that? I like it. Really? I feel like I should be ladylike and okay. not do that. It looks kind of ladylike. Ooh. <laughs> I know you're joking and everything, but I just think that's hot anyway. Is it? Is it? I mean, I know, I, I know you, I know it's a joke and everything, but even though you're doing it, I'm like, uh, it was like when you were pretending to wash the car, and I was like, that's smoking hot. Even although. It's still hot. It's still hot, I even love though it. it's a joke. I'm love like, it. yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, right, the CBS show then. Oh, that, yeah. yeah, that looks good. I'm on your network. Yeah, you're on the network. You, oh, See you we there. Can do the emails tonight, Arnold. Let's you, do you, it. I'd love to. You want to do a quick email? Yes. All I right. missed you and your emails. Thanks. <laughs> What's your thing? <laughs> or. <laughs> All right, you snorted Sorry, there when you I'm laughed. Sorry. It was, yeah. You make it was just me a little giggle. One. I don't think they heard it, but I heard it. It was just a little. It was like a. It was, it was like a little ghost pig came up and went, and then, and then went away. 
That's not hot. Ghost pigs are hot. All right, you ready? Uh, you've got the jingle, jingle. Uh, that's it, that's enough. All right, um, what time is it, Jeff? Email time. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, this is from Michael in Elgin in Illinois. No, you, uh, you must have been to Illinois. Your Irish mm. Polish check is a vacuum. I mean, right there. Oh, that's, I've that's so many kielbasas in yeah, Illinois, they, I have no idea. You've got the things. Um, is it, is it? Pierogies. <laughs> oh, I thought you knew my secret nickname. <laughs> like, How do you know that's my secret nickname? <laughs> sexy, sexy. All right, uh, uh, Michael <clears throat> says, is it too early to ask about Halloween? <laughs> Are you angry? <laughs> no, I just, I was tired. Give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like... So give up. Yeah, I've got, I've got, what do the kids call it, ADD? Dropsy. I've got dropsy? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if it's dropsy. I think I might have rickets. Shingles. Rickets. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was saying shingles, shingle while you were saying rickets. Yeah, but shingles, shingles. Is, shingles are very, shingles. it's a horrible condition. Now. Eczema. As, as is rickets. One time Kim Kardashian had a skin thing and she couldn't do her commercial. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Saw that. <laughs> what? You guys watch it? I don't actually watch. Millions of people do. No, no, I know millions the of people. The teenagers millions of, of people today don't watch love. this, and uh, no, that's uh, it's kind of my thing. We're that should be time. illegal. Uh, all right. Uh, quickly. Uh, awkward pause. Glittery ball. No, no glittery ball. Awkward pause. Mouth organ. Or go for the big cash prize. Wow, you've expanded everything. Yeah. So many choices. Yeah. Cash prize. Cash prize. All right. Big cash prize. Big cash fries. You're welcome, fast food outlets, for a great new idea. Big Cash Fries. What does that mean? Big Cat. Actually, Big Cash Fries is the name of a country singer I'm sponsoring. I like his stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's tasty. And big. Cash Fries. And cash. All right. Here's the thing. You can win $50 in singles if you answer one question. This is a difficult question, though. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Yeah, no, yeah. that's not a question. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Yeah. The capital city of Iceland is Reykjavik. Yes. Right, okay. True. How tall True is Regis Philbin? 5'7". <laughs> oh, no. 5'8". No. Six foot. No! <laughs> no, no, no. Really? Yeah. 5'4"? No. <laughs> We just fell, but uh, five foot five. I'm can sorry. Can I guess her height and still win? <laughs> yeah, all right. Five seven. I told you. Five eight. Ah. You're tall. Damn it. Ah, uh, well, you don't win the money, but good news for me. I... Marilyn Rice Cup, everybody. <laughs> is one of the world's top-selling authors. Now, an author is like a blogger, but rich. <laughs> well, this one is anyway, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I've decided to do the rest of the show like this. <laughs> what do you think about that, Jeff? I don't care for it at all. Our, our latest book, Goddess of Vengeance, is in stores now. Please welcome the adorable Jackie Collins, everybody. <laughs> Congratulations, my dear, on another fabulous giant book full of sexiness and a big picture of your boobies on the back. <laughs> Which do you like best, the book or the picture? Um, I haven't read the book yet. Okay. So you I'm going to go though. for the boobies, but, okay, okay. but I have to say, it yes. is a Lucky Santangelo book. It's a Lucky Then I'll be reading it. She is be back. She is back. Lucky is the, uh, she's kind of like your, if you were Scorsese, Lucky would be your De Niro. Oh, yes. 
He's so right, yes. I am. The Nero, yeah. yes. Look at well, what happens right. then, and this one, does there sexy things happen to her? Very sexy things. Right. It's right. the worst villain I've ever written, and I kind of channeled him. And when I pick it up and I read it myself, I'm going, oh my God, this guy is so disgusting. He does the most <laughs> disgusting things. And yes, I'm thinking, but Jackie, that comes from that? your mind. So your mind is the disgusting source of his. <laughs> Yes, you're right. No, Ray. inside that, you know, Sort the... of like you on this show. How <laughs> dare you, madam? Because. Jeff, do you hear this crap? I How have dare noticed. you? What? Hi, Jeff. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I have noticed hmm? that not a show goes by. Yes. Unless you mention your man parts. Penis? Yes, penis. <laughs> trying to say. Hey, you know, when you're, you write, well, here's, here's an yes. when you're writing about uh, penises, because yes, you write, you, you mentioned them once or twice, yeah, yes. you don't, you don't use the word penis very often. It's a perfectly acceptable medical term for the, for the part of the body. But if you read this book, you'll find that I do. Oh, you actually use the word? Oh, yeah. Do you not oh, say yeah. man parts then? No, I don't say man parts. <laughs> God. You're the one that says man parts. No, I, you, remember, you, I remember when you called your equipment Sly and the Family Stone. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, it was Sly and the Family Stones. I was just going yeah. to say that. Stones, yes. No, you have some very good uh, words for... Well, it's just, it's, just, it's just fun. I don't mean anything by it. No, I'm not I trying think it's to... great. Oh, right. I mean, I watch the show every night just you to do? see when you're going to mention it. Oh, I... Yes. <laughs> Am I in this book? I was in the last book. You put me in the last book. You were Don Verona. I was Don Verona book. in the last book. He was book. a very sexy talk show host. Yes. <laughs> very sexy. Flirted with all the ladies. Yeah, I did. I flirted with all the ladies. Yes. I don't do that here. Oh, yes, you do. I know. <laughs> I've seen you do it. Well, you know, it's the, you when it. I got the job, though, in yes. all seriousness, I thought, I want to take this job. I was single at the time. I thought, this is awesome. I yeah. Do, yeah, I'll just, I'll, you know, I'll meet everyone in Hollywood, and who knows? And did you? No. Oh. Hmm. I met a lot of dudes. You uh, did? Yeah, yes. Yeah. But you're yeah. good with the dudes, too. I'm all right with dudes. Yeah, you know, you're I'm European, of... you know. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Does that mean you swing both ways? No, I don't, actually. Uh, no, no. No? <laughs> well, you might after you read the book. Have you, have you ever... Are yes. you ever going to write that... Uh, you were going to write an autobiography? I'm in you? the middle of it. Oh, you are going to, yes. you're going to do it? Are yes. you going to actually name names of the secret I'm sexy people in your life? Exactly, yes. Because you've been in Hollywood for a long time. I know, you know I've been where... here for a long time, but my private life I've always kept very private. Yes. So when I write the autobiography, but I'm just up to, you know, like when I was 13 and getting out of the window every night and going down to Leicester Square and picking up men. <sighs> I had to get my research from somewhere. Holy <laughs> crap! That's outrageous! <laughs> that's re uh, uh, re at 13? Yes. I was a very adult 13. Yes. That's... And I came to Hollywood when I was 15, when I was thrown out of school. You were thrown out of school. No, you left. Well, you wandered it, off. it depends on who you, you talk to. You wandered off yeah. <laughs> What were you expelled for? I wasn't expelled so much as, you know, yeah. kind of like, if you don't come back, that's all right. Oh. <laughs> I guess mine was kind of the same thing. Really? Although I would wave at the resident flasher and say, cold day today, isn't it? So it's flashing. Very small. You had a flasher at your yes. school? Yes. We didn't even have a swimming pool. <laughs> hey, um... Yes. So you dropped out of high school then? I did, yeah. You didn't go to college? No. And yet you write large, and yet, sexy books? This is my 28th book, and it's going on the New York Times next Sunday. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, that's very yeah, nice. I'm very happy yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, that would yeah. be good. And, uh, but I have great fans and great people who follow me on Twitter. You're on Twitter. I am on the Tweety, yes. yes I do, I do, you do I a lot do of tweeting. Of the tweets, yes. yeah. I, like although I think sometimes people can be harsh. Yes. Twitter. I block them. You know you, the block thing? Oh, I love the block oh, thing. You can just block the block them. thing is the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It goes on Twitter. Yes. It's kind of like Fabulous. having control over the internet. It I don't is. bother with the internet. Yes. Now. I just I just go on the Twitter, and if anyone sees it, me yes. blocked. If they say it, even casually, like slightly tiny little bit. Of you block them immediately. Yep, blocked. Right, like. How many people have you blocked? Oh, I, that's the only thing I don't know. Oh. You know, they, they don't. Or hundreds, you, like. Oh no, much more. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've only blocked like four people. And they oh. were all English. And they were all transvestites. What do you think that means? 
It means that you have to learn to accept your transvestite <laughs> brothers and sisters. Uh, you know, maybe if it's for yes. them, maybe the problem doesn't lie with them, Jackie. Maybe it lies with you. Maybe I you're sure to I have to think about this. Yeah, yeah I have to think about this. Yeah. But it's fun, Twitter, because you can it talk is. to people and get ideas. You can. And, and meet people on Twitter. Have you ever done that? Yeah, I have. Have you what, met up with them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? I had lunch with Ross Matthews. Who's that? He's a comedian. I, he's, I, he's great. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ross Matthews, of course. <laughs> I love Ross. He's fantastic. <laughs> does, the, does the audience know who he is, Ross Matthews? Yeah. Yeah? There, there's a lady that well, knows yeah, the tall is. lady. The tall lady knows everything. She knows everything. Yeah, she's like, oh, that's not the height of Regis Feldman. I know who Ross Matthews is, and I'm tall. And uh, Denise Richards. Denise Richards? Who is married to Charlie Sheen. Oh, yes. How's, you, how's that Twitter? going? Are they still together? No. Oh. <laughs> You've got to keep up on your Hollywood gossip. You know I don't have to, I really. Know. No. What I... I want you to do is write another book, because you're a brilliant writer. Thanks very much. I yes. do like to write the sexy stuff. Do you find when you write sexy stuff that it kind of kind of gets you going? No. Oh, it does me. <laughs> Like, the when you write the stuff, sexy yeah. stuff, it gets me going. No, yeah, well, when you write the sexy stuff, that'll get me going. Oh, no, I do like... Oh. No, but, you know, his books are great because they are incredibly literate, but incredibly filthy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks filthier. for the filthy bit there, because no one would buy it if you just said literate. <laughs> but, that, but when you filthier tell them it's filthy, the they're like, I need a copy yes. right away! Exactly, exactly. Hey, uh, we're out of time, Jackie, so yes. uh, congratulations on this. Yes. And uh, now, do you want... Uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, or go for the big cash Well, price. I have been thinking about this, and right. as I watch your show all the time, you mm. do not treat your glittery balls very well. You kind of, you <laughs> offer them to people. Have you noticed this? He offers his glittery balls, and oh. then he goes, no, you don't want those, and he pushes them back. Your glittery balls need more attention. <laughs> they do. Thank you. They're not quite matching. Well, that's, that's they... natural. That happens to most people. <laughs> <laughs> so will you keep them to the forefront in future? Well, no, I, Don't I, worry about I, can't, I, can't, I can't come out here can't balls you, out you? every night. I can't do that. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah, yes, yeah. you can. Can't you do the thing where they twirl? Oh, only one of them oh, twirls. Yeah. Oh. Just like in real life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for giving me your glittery Well, balls. there you are then. Jackie Appreciate Collins, it. everybody. Thank you. Welcome back. My next guest is here to perform On Your Way Down from his record, Back of Town. The new album for True is out now. Please welcome... Trombone Shorty, everybody. Trombone Shorty.
If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. to take this off. Ow. Uh, Ow. 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 Ready. Ow. Now, now stop doing Wilford Brimley because we've got this lovely young couple are expecting their first baby any time uh, in the next, uh, well it could be before the infomercial that follows our show is over. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now um, you've decided on a name Yes. Yep. And the name is? Michaelis. Michaelis, that's right. So little baby Michaelis is going to want a Christmas card to go out this year. Do, do you celebrate Christmas? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, here's the thing. Um, yeah, what, what we thought we would offer is that Jeff and I, uh, if this is okay with you, Jeff, that we... Sure. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> that we, have you ever stood next to someone like this? You're from East Bride. You probably well. know a lot of people. <laughs> Paisley, usually. Yeah, well, Paisley's another town in Scotland. If you were from Scotland, you'd have went, <laughs> See what he did? But you're not. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, we'll do our Christmas card pose, and Jeff, if you would say something appropriate for, you know, baby Michaelis. Uh, oh. And then we, then we can send you a videotape, VHS videotape. <laughs> Of the night you appeared on the show, little Michaelis, before Aww. you were born. Aww. Aww. Yay! <laughs> I imagine a kid about 20 years from now in a college dorm thinking, this is creepy. Tootsie fruits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a little word for baby Michaelis and we'll wish you good night. Jeff, take it away. Careful, Michaelis. <laughs> Good night, everybody.